I started looking for, well, what is what is it? What does God really mean when he wants us to be free? So you start going back not only through the Bible, but you pair the Bible with our founding fathers documents, which invoke the term creator four times in there. And you start to understand that those documents could not have existed if it were not for the Bible and for what the word of God is about. So you start to explore this. I was very fortunate. I got a phone call from a friend of mine who ran for Senate in 2018, Bobby Lawrence, who was running for U.S. Senate in Pennsylvania. He stepped down from a leading as a leading candidate going into the primary to pursue this because he felt so strongly about the significance of it. And once he understood that what we have in Washington, D.C., effective in 1871, when they incorporated those 10 square miles and made that whole district a corporation, they're insulated now. When you if you're a business person, right, I'm an independent sole proprietor and I decide I don't want liability exposure for me and Vandersteel, I can incorporate and put a shell company around myself, which gives me a liability shield. Well, that's what they've done in Washington, D.C., to the U.S. Congress, to the legislative branch, to all of it, the DOD, all of it. They're all incorporated. So they they have a liability shield, in effect, to protect them from us. You wonder why no one ever goes to jail? Well, there you go. They're protected in the inside a corporate bubble. So when I start to understand that, I realize these people aren't working for us. They're not our public servants. So I started this journey in 2021, right after J6, um, the reawaken tour happened and I started to spend more time researching it. And because of Bobby, he pointed me in the right direction for a lot of things, understanding the corporate liability shield, the 14th amendment. I started to recognize there is a lot more to this than what I understand. And there's a lot more lies that we've been told and misunderstandings of our history. Uh, for instance, we now know that the Rockefeller clan derailed holistic medicine in the early 1900s. Reason the reason we have the medicine that we have today, and all the and the all the um, medicines, the medical schools, and big pharma, and the medical industrial complex is because the Rockefellers use their petroleum based products to, to to basically manufacture poisons that beget more problems. And today we have a whole host of issues from autism uh, rates skyrocketing in the U.S. higher than anywhere else. In addition to obesity and all these things where we're supposed to be drinking diet soda, yet we have mass obesity and on and on and on. So we go back to the things that they ridiculed, like holistic medicine, like the, what the indigenous tribes use. So there's so many things that have been on the planet that God gave us, Jean, that have been ignored or ridiculed, scoffed, buried. And let's face it, many doctors have been murdered because of the fact they've been able to cure true disease. So all of this compiles together into this journey of true sovereignty, taking back what God gave us putting it in the center of our life and living according to what God intended and throwing off the cast, the change of what the administrative state has unfortunately defiled us with in terms of mandates and statutes and codes that have nothing to do with the law of the land, which is where God would have a stand right here on the land and not in some corporate tyranny doing commercial law in the admiralty court system, which is what we're doing today. So this is kind of a high level discussion, but it's it's important that people understand in context exactly what all this means.